Welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights 2, Mask of the Betrayer. This is Big Los, and we have just defeated yes. the Slumbering Coven. We're in Colvea Kurganis. Mm -hmm. And let's set everyone to long-range weapons. Let's see, I guess I didn't put Epic Gate into your quick key, so let's do that right now. Again. Yes. And... Yes. I guess we didn't get Epic Gate for Kaylin. Well, now. Well, I'll be. What do you want? Okay, so now we're gonna yes. do this frontline, backline thing, like I mentioned in a previous Step episode. Come on, follow along. We are gonna have the captain be up front, and we are gonna have our other three party members use long-range weapons. So let's give the arrows of petrification to Gan. That way, if he starts running low on arrows, he'll be able to use those while the captain just gets up and gets in everybody's face with his two swords. Okay, I guess this is the only door we can leave out of. Now, we got a trap up here. It's a deadly tangle trap, but I don't know how a tangle trap could be deadly. So we're going to examine it. The DC is only 24, so we are going to attempt a recovery on this. And we got it, we got 155 XP. I think we got an actual trap this time instead of a question mark that says short sword. And we got some hack spawns up there, and since we defeated the coven, they're not going to be too happy with us. In fact, they're going to attack us on sight. So we're going to use this wand of fireball to surprise the hell out of these guys, and then we're just going to go up and start stabbing them. While the other party members just shoot arrows at them. Now we are blocking a stairwell, so. What's up with this guy? He's dead and he's still standing up? Man, that's some rigor mortis right there. That's right, okay. Oh, now he's doing the Yoda thing, disappearing. Alright, let's get this. We're gonna get that. And. What's up with this? Why is... Why did one of them fall through the stairs? Why can't I get his his body and get his treasure? Looks like he got infected by the captain's sword. Well, I, that means I can't get it? Well, I'm very disappointed in you, game. Very disappointed. Well, I guess that's at least a thousand, maybe two thousand gold pieces that we're not going to get. Oh, well. Okay, so let's throw another fireball over here and do some damage to this guy. I guess it, it was only one. Okay. And then we will occupy these other guys. We're gonna... Well, it looks like they're going into barbarian rages. And we're just gonna... Just completely overwhelm them. And after they die, we are gonna lose their treasures. Alright, and get a bunch of gold, and there I am drinking Yerba Mate while I'm playing this. I think the captain would be pleased with me if he were real. He is the most interesting man in the world, after all. Okay, looks like we got some more hack spawns up here. And I guess we might as well just run and attack them. Okay, so there's only one here, it turns out, but... We do have three more who just appeared out of nowhere. Alright. Okay, there goes another one. And then we got one more. Just look at that damage. I just love it. Okay, let's grab all this gold. And continue forward because we are getting kind of low on the spirit energy. So time is of the essence here. We are going to be resting a lot less, in case you haven't noticed. Back in the original campaign, we rested quite a bit. Not here. Now we rest when it's absolutely necessary. And right now it's not. So we tend to conserve our spells. And we tend to go from point A to point B a lot quicker than we usually do. 
Okay, anything else deserving to go into the bag of holding? I guess the Hammer of the Lost Empire. We might sell that later. Cookery of the Eclipse. Yeah, I think we looked at that before. And... I can't believe that headband weighs two pounds. Wow. Oh, looks like the captain did take some damage, but he'll be healed up very shortly, and... Looks like we got some more hack spawns up here. Looks like we got a whole group of them, so let us... Looks like that's... they're gonna be right here, so let's throw our final fireball right there and... What? Why didn't it damage anybody? Alright, well... I am not happy with that. Let's give the... Empty Wand to... Sophia, I guess. Aw, oh, you're kidding me, that overloaded you? Alright, well, I guess just drop it. And then, you know what, while the captain is going to be battling, why don't you combine some essences? You know, do, do something. You don't need to shoot your crossbow all the time. Let's see. Yeah, that so. should do it. You should do it. Do it twice and we'll sneak up on this guy. And I can't believe I didn't get any sneak attacks on that guy. He wasn't even facing me. Oh well. Maybe it's his uncanny dodge ability or something. Or improved uncanny dodge. Oh look, one of them got petrified. That's kind of cool. Look at that. He can still do damage on it and get sneak attacks now. Well, now he's dead. Okay, so now let's grab his stuff. I guess the only way we could grab his stuff is if he's dead. See, and that's the key to defeating the... Coven Witches and getting their essences is by doing petrification attacks like that. Alright, so... I think we got one more... chamber with guards up in here. Yep, we do. Alright, let's just do this thing. If I had a whirlwind attack right now, I would be using it in this situation because I am surrounded. However, I'm not too concerned. I think the only reason the captain's taking damage is because he doesn't have any stone skin on him right now. No matter, all those lost hit points will be regenerated soon enough. Alright, that should about do it. And is that going to get disappear? Okay. So let's go on out here. Let's enter the portal. We're going to go back to the night shore. And then we're going to have to battle the two guards. We had to get back previously, and we got sneak attacks on that guy. What about this guy? Alright. That guy sure does have a lot of HP, doesn't he? Oh, so much for that. Okay, oh, this guy actually had an essence on him, okay. And then there's Omaga, the guy who was insulting us and our goods, trying to get us to buy stuff from him. Well. Now he won't sell us anything at all, he'll just attack, so we're going to turn party AI mode off so they don't spoil the little surprise that I have in store for this guy. So let's just sneak up on him with our stealth ability. Oh, we get sneak attacks and critical hits. And he's dead. Didn't even know what hit him. Probably got stabbed in the kidneys, the lungs, and the heart a couple times before he even turned around. Alright, so we got the... Shield of the Magi. Now we'll put this great sword into the bag of holding. We'll put the chainmail in there, and then this thing. See, it gives you bonus bard, sorcerer, and wizard spells. So you'd have to be like an eldritch knight in order to get the most benefit out of that. Because if you're a, yes. a straight wizard, or sorcerer, or bard, I don't even think you can yes. use that type of shield. Yes. Let's see. Do we want to replace that cloak? I believe so. Mm, maybe not. 
Alright, our spirit energy is still at 46, so let's go into that portal up there. Oh, now it dropped to 40. Great. Looks like Fentomi isn't here. He might be on the lake short, so let's go into this portal. We're gonna enter it. Alright, here we are, and... We're gonna move over here, and it spawns a whole new host of Telther Spirits. Which is a godsend right about now, because we're doing... I'm not extremely bad, but... We're not doing good on our spirit energy, so let us remove the fiery void so we can control the amount of damage that we do. And then we will devour the spirit of one of these panthers. And get his HP down to near death. Aren't you there yet? These guys have a lot of HP on them. Maybe another hit ought to do it. Why are you guys still attacking? I know you guys attack in self-defense, but you don't need to do it anymore. Okay, now he's near death, so let us do a Devour Spirit on him, and we'll get our Spirit Energy back up to a better level than it was before. Alright, it's back up to 65. It's not great, but not bad. Alright, then we got this other guy, but fortunately we have a five minute cooldown period that we gotta deal with. Now, I would devour it right now if that bug was happening, but it's not, so. Alright, we'll just deal, it, deal with it. Oh, looks like I forgot to take care of that other Telth rat. And there is Count Crow Roost's coffin, but it's in the middle of the night. You know, we want to get to it when the sun's up, so we're going to have to wait until a little bit later before we mess with that. Right now, we are going to grab all these spirit essences. And it looks like there's one over here, and then we are going to wait for this five-minute cooldown period to end. And we're going to put on some more buffs that we still have. Well, no. So I guess we will yes. gather the party over in this direction. Follow. So they don't inadvertently well, no. get to a, another battle that what we're going to have in the future, want? and then we'll see you back here in a few minutes. Alright, so we had another casting of Stone Skin, plus we had some Bark Skin from Gan, so we put those back on. Now. Here's Fentomi over here, so let's talk to him. You've defaulted on our agreement. I give you the key, and you were supposed to destroy the Earth Elemental. I am very displeased. Destroying the Earth Elemental could have made the whole building collapse. No excuses. I will make an example of you. No one breaks an agreement with a Tao of my standing. Okay, so now... He has brought into existence two Elder yeah. Earth Elementals. And since we have waited the whole five minute cooldown period, we're going to take one of them down to near death. We're pretty much going to ignore the other one. And it looks like we're kind of lagging a little bit, but I think it'll get better. I mean, it isn't like horrible lag. It's just kind of annoying. Alright, you know what? I don't think we're doing enough damage, so let's maybe get one hit of the fiery yeah. void on this thing, and then that did it. Okay. Let's devour spirit now. And then I guess we will deal with that Irinius that got summoned next. Alright, our spirit energy is up to 89. Let's have at it. Cool. Time for a bit of the game. Oh, oh there goes that, Irinis. And now we'll deal with Fentomi himself. With just the Fiery Void. 
And now he's dead, and we got one more Elder Earth that I'm about to put. I do want to devour its spirit. So, we're going to have to wait this entire five minute cooldown period. Let's de equip the Fiery Void. Let's see what this guy had on him a cloak. The Dearthen Cloak. What does this do? It gives plus three to AC, and then it gives you a level three and a level five spell for whatever spellcaster levels that you have. Then it gives you immunities to acid, electrical, fire, and sonic by 25%, but looks like it give you a vulnerability to ice or frost, whatever. Danger approaches. Be on your guard. Right. No, I think we're gonna keep that cloak on Sophia. What about this one? You know what? I think we can trade two points of armor class that we're getting from that cloak for the extra spell levels and for the added immunities that we get, like 25% immunities. Okay, so we're gonna, I guess, just wait out this five minute cooldown period. So we're gonna do that off camera and I guess we'll see you back here in a couple minutes. All the well fight. And we're back, and now we got the Devour Spirit ability back, so let us devour this big spirit. Sends our spirit energy back to 100%. And we get another spirit essence out of it. We, our craving can't go up any more than it already is, so... Right, so let us turn Party AI mode back on. Now I want to deal with Count Krorus, but unfortunately it's the middle of the night and we gotta wait till it's sunlight out. So I think we should just rest here. And it's gonna send our spirit energy down a lot. I know that, but meh. We could wait until dawn, but nah, I kinda wanna get all of the spells back. Okay, and our spirit energy is down to 46 again. We're right back where we started, but we do have our spells and it's daytime. So we can deal with Count Crowru. So let's talk to his servant. Curse you for laying your brutish hands upon Count Crowru's coffin. When he awakens, he will make you suffer. Kaji seems a capable thief. You should have no trouble with this lock. Influence game with Sophia. Kaji, my dear, open the lock for me, please. And our influence is back to 100. How did you... What have you done? Who disturbs my... Ah! 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 And he's dead. And we get 2,000 XP for dealing with that, and there goes the coffin, but this guy's still here. Would you already stay away from Count Krorus? Ignore me at your peril. Okay, if we do open lock, it says you discovered a hidden compartment, and nothing happens, but... You know what, if we click on this guy again, then we ask Kaji to do it again. We not only gain more experience, but now we have a second Count Crow Roost here. Who disturbs my friends? So, we can actually fight this guy twice. It's a bug, and we took care of the servant. So, let's get this guy's HP down to near best, and then we will do an eternal rest and we're going to de-equip the fiery void because we want to control the amount of damage that we're going to do. I know he's immune to any type of disease so we're only just getting regular damage on him. Oh yeah, I forgot. Vampires of this sort have like some type of regeneration, don't they? Well, at this stage in the game, the captain will just do massive amounts of damage on him. Okay, now you're near death, so let us do an eternal rest. And we get another volatile spirit essence, and we get an additional 290 XP, and our spirit energy is back up to 76. So let's grab this. We get like 19 gold pieces, and then this guy had the Shadow Master Kukri and 820 gold pieces. 
Okay, so we actually were able to get the maximum XP, and we got the treasure that you get for just battling this guy. This black kukri once belonged to a guildmaster of the Shadow Masters of Teflon, one of the three most powerful thieves guilds. And it does 2d6 acid damage, it's plus 4, proves dex by plus 5, and it gives you plus 6 to hide, listen, and move silently. So it's definitely geared for a roguish character. However, I think we're doing better with a short sword than we would with a kukri. So we're just going to keep the weapons that we are using right now. We'll probably sell that one, get some gold for it. Buy something cooler back in town. Or somewhere else. I wonder where. Maybe there's a shop in Thaymount. Okay, so we're going to go back to Molson Tier proper. Hopefully it won't take our spirit energy down too much. Now, if you rest for eight hours, it like takes away about 50-something of your spirit energy, but a two-day travel, I don't think we'll take that much for some reason. I'm not sure why, but I don't know. See, now it's only down to 64, and it was like 70-something before. Okay, so... Why don't we go into the Vale since it's still the middle of the day. I guess it was exactly a two-day ride or walk or whatever. And then we'll go into the Shadow Plane and try to build up our spirit energy. But first, let's talk to Magda. If I might suggest a theme, it might lighten the mood in this dark place. Let some dreams air. I suggest a grand performance, a drama. The Dreamwalker of Rashomon, a wild, unpredictable, breathtakingly handsome spirit who wanders the land and the dreams of its people, especially the daughters of farmers, full in the throes of their womanhood. Hmm. Let's see. Now that's a play I wouldn't mind seeing. Yeah, we'll pick that one. I agree. What your friend suggests might be a play with meat on its bones. Indeed. Not the paltry fare we provide, but one must ask why the Dreamwalker walks. There needs to be some motivation, some purpose to his movements. Why, adventure, of course. The thrill of an open road, and an open mind, is always a lure. Well, many tales have started with little more. No, on the surface, such a motivation might work. But we strive for something deeper at the Vale. We may seem to be a place of surface appearances, but there is always something else at work. Why would the Dreamwalker walk the lands of Rashomon? Surely, one with the ability to walk the dreams of others would choose somewhere else, perhaps. Perhaps instead he runs from something. Runs? A hero such as he? Come now, you've already lost me as an audience member. Do not lose more. Actually, I'm intrigued. Go on, Magda. We need something, something to add to the drama. Well then, let us say he is an exile, of course, forced to wander the land. Ah, so in chaos, perhaps, living a life of women fantasy? But why? He does not seem to be a being without choices. Why would he choose that? The chaos around him might be him rebelling against routine, order, and stability. But what symbolizes such an order? Hmm. Cities? Let's do wisdom. Something with structure and familiarity. A family, perhaps. Intimacy that perhaps a family or another could provide. Yes, our hero perhaps runs from that. Yet down inside, seeks it out as well. Oh, this is getting good. Why prey on the dreams of others? Is he alone? Is that why he wanders? So many mysteries. Hmm. <laughs> Try to suggest a play to liven things up around here, and already you have murdered my idea. Where is the amusement in such a play as you suggest? Indeed. Perhaps it is not amusing at all. Caricatures provide amusement, but paintings have layers, and this Dreamwalker feels more like a painting to me. Alright, let's see your shop again. Alright, I think the next type of armor that we're going to be making for the captain is going to come from here because we can get 
some clothes that have no maximum dex bonuses. And I think the noble's outfit looks the best, so we'll probably buy that one. And then we'll enchant it and put some other things on it too, but first, let's go in here to the shadow plane. Now, if we wanted to, we could actually go to the theme out right now. And I was actually kind of thinking about it, but... You know what? We actually have a really high craving that we have to deal with first. So, before we deal with the high craving, we are going to have to go to the Death God's Vault. We could also go to the... What do you call it? To the sleeper's house. To the Avalov ha To the Avalov's house? I guess we'll do that in the next episode, before we go to the Thay Mount. But first we need to go to the Death God's Vault. We need to recharge our spirit energy by gorging on some undead by giving them eternal rest. And then... What else should we do? I think we should go to the Ashenwood, and that will take a lot of our spirit energy away. But that is a really good way to lower the craving in the manner that I showed in a previous episode. So let's go on in here, and I think the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the yes. Scriptorium. But first, let's put on the Persistent Haste, so we move a little bit faster. Follow along. So let us go to the Scriptorium. And we will give eternal rest to all of the scribes who have been punished to be scribes for all of eternity in undeath. We will get a lot of good spirit essences out of it. So let's talk to this guy. Chief Scribe. Yes, yes supplicant. supplicant. We are still, we are still here, here by Merkel's will. will. On the lower level, I found a black gate. How do I unlock it? And what lies beyond? For a long moment, the spirit says nothing. Something flickers behind his eyes. A spark of life, or zealous faith rekindled after many long years. You will return, will return to that, that gate. gate. When all your deceptions are laid bare, supplicant, and if you choose to pass through, you will unleash a new storm upon the plains. Do not assume that all the traitors are dead, nor are they all repentant, as we are. That gate is watched by many eyes. Okay, let's do eternal rest. It is time for you and your fellow scribes to pass on in no peace. The scribe's expressionless face fills with wonder, as if the possibility of release from him fate. Him fate never occurred to him. It's supposed to be his fate. Brothers, Brothers lay, down lay down your down pens. Your pen. Our, Our work, work is, is done, done at last. And looks like we got a brilliant spirit essence and a bunch of volatile spirit essences. And our spirit energy went up to 83. I think it was like 58 before, something like that. Yes. So, let us combine some of these essences, especially the volatile spirit essences that we just got. We'll do it on that one, and then let's go over here, and looks like we... Man, I hate that. It makes you wait before you can send things to the next page of your inventory. Okay, let's combine now on that one and then do it on the... Hello? Okay. Give that back to the captain. And we'll give that one to the captain as well. Well All right. What do you want? I think if we devour one, or not devour, do eternal rest on one more undead, that'll get us back up to 100%. And then we can go on our merry way. 
So let's go this way. And let's go over here. And here's an urn over here, so let's turn off party yes. AI mode. Why don't you go over well, there? No. What do you want? And then Oh, I looted this one already off camera. I, I completely forgot. Oh man, that's where I got one of the scrolls that I scribed for Sophia. Okay, well, we do have some more in the other room where those death knights were holding a vigil. Seeing our spirit energy is down to 77 again. Alright, so let's go over here and then just, let's just pick an offering urn. I think over here is where there's some... Yeah, okay. So we're gonna... I guess loop that. You know what, you guys, let's turn off party AI mode. Why don't you guys go over here? I believe so. And then... A dread wraith comes out. Well, that's good because they don't have... What is it, like polar ray or cone of cold or something? So they destroy other... Burns, which spawn more shadows of the void. No, this is just a dread wraith, but dread wraith is good enough for me. That'll get our spirit energy back up to a hundred. All right, here we go. Let's do no, not a devour spirit. Let's do eternal rest. And our spirit energy goes back up to 100. We get another volatile spirit essence. And that should about do it. Alright, so I guess we can end the episode here and... Oh no, there's a treasure bag over there. Let's go get it. Okay, so we are going to go off camera back to regular Molson tier. Let's give those to Sophia. And then we will go on and fix our craving. So, this is Big Los signing off. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And Tango Umbendia.